Hello everybody, Silver Picker here, and in today's video, I'm going to tell you all about how you can build an incredible coin collection chock full of historic and silver American coins for just a hundred bucks. Whatnot is the sponsor of today's video. Thank you for your support. Oh, and before I forget, obviously if you're watching this video, you're both into coins and getting good deals. So this holiday season, consider picking up one of these coin collector numismatist. Silver Picker Ugly Christmas Sweaters. Yes, these are my design. You can only get them here. By buying them, not only are you supporting my channel and my mission of teaching people all over the world about coin collecting and precious metals investing, but you're gonna look good doing it. The links are below, check it out. Anyway, enough with the jibber jabber. Let's check out this ultimate $100 US coin collection. Now, many of you may recognize this album that I have here as, of course, my Dansko United States typeset album. If you don't know what a typeset is, essentially it is a coin collecting project in which you try and assemble one of every, well, type of US coin ever produced. So you can see here I have three different types of half cents, four different types of large cents, a whole bunch of different small cents, and then we continue up the denominations and try and collect the entirety of of US numismatic history. Now, this album and this collection, of course, is way outside of the scope of today's conversation, which is, of course, about assembling the ultimate US coin collection that you can for just $100. But I don't want that to be the end of your coin collecting journey. I want this $100 to be the beginning. I want to show you that while a coin collection such as this one it takes many years and thousands of dollars to complete, it doesn't take that much to start, and you shouldn't be afraid of coin collecting as a hobby because it's expensive. You can get started with a really, really, really amazing foundation for just a hundred bucks, and that is what we are going to get into right now. So the first coin that we're going to be talking about is the Simple Indian Head Scent. This is a coin that is so iconic because it really is the start of many people's coin collections. Various types of pennies, whether it's the Indian Head Scent or the Wheat Scent, are some of the things that really get young collectors excited and started, sometimes for the first time. And guess what? You can get them for as low as just a buck. Literally one dollar. When I buy and sell Indian head scents, I am looking at them as valued at a dollar. Of course, we're not talking about rare dates and we're not talking about, you know, very good condition, but for the average circulated common date Indian head scent, you can get it for a dollar. Fantastic. Having a $1 Indian head scent may be all fine and dandy to kick off your coin collecting journey, but for an ultimate $100 US coin collection, we need something a little bit punchier, right? So the next two coins, while they're still one cent coins, are definitely punchier, definitely more interesting, and definitely heavier hitters when it comes to value. So the next one we're going to talk about is, of course, the Coronet Large Scent. Now, when I first started collecting, it was years before I ever even saw a large scent in real life. Now, with all the different ways that you can buy coins online, including whatnot, which we'll get to in a second. So anyway, you can pick these up for about 10 bucks at your local coin show or your local coin store or at one of my auctions on whatnot. If you don't know what Whatnot is, Whatnot is an incredible live video auction platform in which bidders and sellers come together in real time to buy and sell all sorts of cool collectibles. Obviously, I'm mostly interested in coins and precious metals, but they've got everything. They've got trading cards, sports cards, comic books, video games, even sneakers. Basically, if you collect it, they have it. And if you use my link to download the app, whatnot.com slash invite slash silver picker, not only do you get access to this incredible platform absolutely free, but you also get $15 in Whatnot credit to spend on anything you want. And at all of my auctions, I always have tons and tons of silver coins in the buy it now for $15 or less. So use my link, whatnot.com slash invite slash silver picker to download the app. It's free. It's incredible. It's a great way to start coin collecting and you get 15 bucks free. And I don't know how long the $15 deal will last. So don't sleep on it. Sign up today. You won't regret it. So back to the coins. Now I said the third coin in this ultimate collection will be another one cent coin, but it's not just any one cent coin. It is the most famous, I'd say, of all one cent coins, which is the 1909 VDB penny. I don't have it in here because I actually am upgrading it. I have a new one here that's in better condition than my last one. And this is a really iconic coin because it was the first year that we had the wheat scent. So after the transition from the Indian head scent to the wheat scent, we had a new design, which of course was the wheat scent. And at the very bottom, of the wheat stalks, the very bottom of the reverse of the coin, you can see the initials VDB, Victor David Brenner. That is the designer of the wheat scent. But shortly thereafter, not even a full year later, his initials were removed 
and the rest of the 1909s and the rest of all the wheat cents were without those initials. Now, many people think that that coin is worth thousands and thousands of dollars, but what they're thinking of is the 1909 SVDB, meaning the 1909 coin with the VDB initials minted at the San Francisco Mint. Those are exceedingly rare and sell for literally thousands and thousands of dollars. But you can get a Philadelphia Mint 1909 VDB for just about 10 bucks in this condition. So really, really, really cool. A very important piece of numismatic and US numismatic history, and you can have it for just 10 bucks. Now I think the first three coins that we just looked at are really awesome, but I did say that we're building the ultimate $100 US coin collection, and for that we need something truly unique. And if you're a new collector, you've still seen one cent coins, whether it's a large cent or a small cent, you've seen them. But what you may not have ever seen is a two cent coin. Yes, right over here we have a US two cent piece. Many people are surprised to learn that the US actually had two cent coins. We also have three cent coins as well. We had 20 cent coins and other coins that are no longer in circulation. We refer to them as obsolete coinage. And the two cent coin is the most affordable of the obsolete coinage. They have a really, really unique and interesting design. And when I got my hands on my first two cent, I really felt like I was getting into the world of, of numismatic. I was like, I am now a coin collector. And the idea that you can have one of these two cent coins for like eight bucks, it's incredible. I had no idea that US coins were as affordable as they are. I definitely recommend you get one of these early on because it is really good motivation to continue collecting once you have something that's really cool and as exciting as a two cent coin. All right, we're moving up the denominations to nickels. You notice here there are half dimes. They're called half dimes because before nickels were made out of nickel, they were made out of silver. So there's no need to call them nickels if they weren't made out of nickel. But we're skipping those for now because that is not within the scope of this $100 collection. But there are two different nickels that we are going to be looking at. One being the Buffalo nickel and one being the Liberty V nickel. Both of those are very iconic. Most people have had a Buffalo nickel even if they're not coin collectors, right? Maybe grandma gave it to them or maybe they got it back in change or maybe they found one. But Buffalo nickels seem to be one of those old coins that people just seem to, to have. And because they're so inexpensive, you definitely gotta pick one up. Same thing for the V-nickels. The V-nickels are really cool, and I didn't even know that they existed until pretty deep into my coin collecting journey. I should say like deep into the beginning of my coin collecting journey, but you can get each of them for about 50 cents, especially if you don't care if they're pretty worn or if you don't care if they've got uh, the date showing, you can easily get each of them for just 50 cents. Next up, we're talking dimes. Now, as you can see, there are a whole bunch of different types of dimes that the U.S. produced over the years, but the ones that we're going to be looking at today are the Liberty Head Dime, also known as the Barber Dime, and the Mercury Dime. The Mercury Dime was one of the first coins that I ever had as a kid. I remember my dad giving me his album of Mercury Dimes that he and his dad had collected when he was a kid, and he had put them in a folder and you know, they weren't in any good shape, they weren't particularly rare dates, but I thought they were so cool. And I remember it as just one of those things that my dad taught me about. You know, there are just certain things, like certain lessons or facts and whatnot that you just remember your dad teaching you. And that's just one of them. I remember him telling me all about the Mercury Dimes and how his dad used to set them aside for him and that they would collect them. The Barber Dime is really, really cool because it is one of the sort of whole series of Barber coinage. There were Barber Dimes, there were Barber Quarters, and there were Barber Halves. So they all have the same design, but of course with different denominations. And the Barber Dime being the most inexpensive one to get. And especially if you get them in lower grades, you can really pick them up for about three bucks, and the Mercury Dime you can get for about two bucks. So you can have two silver coins in your collection for just about $5. That is not bad at all. All right, we're gonna move on to the big dogs. We're gonna move on to quarters, but it's already pretty amazing that we've only spent $35 of our budget. We've gotten a bunch of really, really cool coins, but everything else from here on out is gonna be heavy hitters, big dogs, and mostly silver. And as somebody that is both a coin collector and a silver investor, I love this space. This is where I like to play, right? The silver US coins. So 
you can see there's a whole bunch of different quarters, and this is the Barber quarter we had talked about, right? It's the same design as the Barber dime, and that's the reason we're not going to be adding that to the collection. I also decided we're not going to add the Washington quarters to this collection because even though they're definitely important parts of U.S. coinage history, they're really familiar to us, right? Everybody's seen a modern Washington quarter, so it's not so exciting to add to the collection. The Seated Liberty stuff is going to be a little too expensive for us, and I think that the sweet spot is right here with the Standing Liberty quarter. The Variety 2 is almost identical to the Variety 1. We won't get into that right now, but essentially you can get a Standing Liberty quarter that's in not bad shape, meaning you can see almost all the design. Maybe the year will be a little bit tough to read, but you can get one definitely for six bucks. And that's not even that much over spot, spot being the value of the silver that's intrinsic to the coin. And look at this, a really, really nice obverse, but I actually love the reverse even more. I love the design of that eagle, right? There's lots of different eagles in American coinage, and this is one of my absolute favorites. All right, we've got three coins left in this ultimate collection, and they are all from this page. Can you guess what they are? I mean, take a second, think about it, keep it in your head, and see if you got it right. But I think it'll surprise nobody that one of them is the Walking Liberty Half Dollar. It is arguably the single most iconic coin in all of American numismatics. And I can say that I'm pretty good authority because this design was borrowed for the $1 American bullion coin, which is, of course, the American Silver Eagle. And you can see why. I mean, look how beautiful Lady Liberty looks. Regal, strong, with the sun in the background. It has all this hope and strength. And the eagle on the reverse, it's broad. The broad wings, that profile view, Absolutely beautiful. I would say that this is as close to a perfectly designed coin as one can get. And that's the reason why most people have it in their collections. And the best part is, they go for like 12 bucks. That is absolutely fantastic. The next coin is one of these commemorative half dollars. Commemorative half dollars have become a subset of collecting in and of itself. There have been literally hundreds of designs made, but the one we're gonna be adding to our collection is maybe the ultimate one because it was the first one. And that is this guy right here, the Columbia Exposition half dollar. It was the first commemorative half dollar ever produced by the US, produced in 1892 and 1893 to promote the Columbia Exposition, which was like the World's Fair back then. And while I'm not a huge fan of the design, to be honest, I don't love the bust of Columbus, and the reverse, while I do generally love nautical-themed coins, I just don't love this design. But because of the history, because of the age, because it's silver, and because of the price, it definitely deserves a spot in this ultimate collection. And you can get one of these for just 13 bucks. It's not going to be in as nice condition as the one I have here, but you'll still certainly be able to see all the details, the date, etc, etc. They produced a lot of these, so they're not all that rare, but they are damn cool. And look what we have here. We have $34 left in our budget and one more coin that I want to add to the collection. And I think this will surprise exactly nobody that I have chosen the Morgan Silver Dollar to be the crowning jewel of this ultimate $100 US coin collection. The Morgan Dollar is one of the most favorite and beloved coins of collectors the world over, not just American coin collectors. And part of the reason is because, first of all, it's almost an ounce of silver, so people stack them. And while they do have a pretty good premium over spot, you can get that premium back when you sell it. Nobody is buying these coins for anywhere close to spot. So you're gonna be investing some money into it, but you're gonna be getting that money out if you do sell it. And part of the reason why people love collecting it, aside from the silver value, aside from the design, aside from the beauty, is that there is a world in and of themselves for collecting Morgans. There are so many different years and mint marks and varieties that people collect, and people go absolutely wild for them. People chase higher grades. There's whole communities of collectors that are just focused on the Morgan Silver Dollar, and that's why it makes it the ultimate capstone to this project. So, what'd you think? We just put together the ultimate US coin collection, which consists of 12 iconic coins for just 100 bucks. That means it's average of just $8 and change per coin. And by the way, we didn't even mention the fact that you could check off a whole bunch of other of these coins just but for face value, because there are modern coins in here too, like the Lincoln Head Memorial Scent, the Jefferson Nickel, et cetera, et cetera. So you could actually add a whole bunch of other coins just for face value for less than a dollar. So the $100 ultimate 
Ultimate Collection has only the cool stuff, but if you're working towards a US typeset, you could get not just the ones that I said for 100 bucks, but add another 50, 75 cents, and you've got about three or four more crossed off your list. So what'd you guys think? I had such a good time making this video, but I wanna hear your thoughts in the comments below on what you guys think I got wrong or what you guys would have put in your ultimate $100 US coin set. So let me know in the comments below. Now I make videos about coin collecting, precious metals investing, and even personal finance every single week. So if you like that kind of content, please consider hitting the subscribe button. And while you're down there, throw me a like. It helps me out a ton, helps promote the video, and keeps me going. So I really had a great time making the video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I've got a lot more awesome stuff coming down the pike. So stay tuned, and until then, Silver Picker out. A huge, huge thank you to all of my wonderful patrons. If you're not yet a patron, join the Patreon, the links are below, and you'll get access to my private Discord group in which all sorts of collectors come together to talk shop, talk coins, and just have a good time.